a proposed rule to significantly increase salaries for low paid teachers. The Health and Human Services Agency's proposed federal rule would require Head Start teachers in programs to raise salaries and boost benefits. Head Start is available in three formats at nearly 140 sites in Hamilton County. So I spoke to Renee Daniel. She's the Vice President of Early Childhood Education with the Cincinnati Hamilton County Community Action Agency. She spoke about how this could impact teachers and students here in Hamilton County. Head Start is a federally funded program um, that provides uh, education services for children and their families. Right now, many Head Start programs across the nation are struggling with staffing shortages, Hamilton County included. It really has been very difficult. We've done what we could do here. We've uh, offered incentives. We've offered, um, you know, mental health services as well as other benefits. Um, but we, we still, even with all of that, we can't compete with you know, um, Amazon and uh, some of the other um, bigger, larger corporations that are hiring individuals. The proposed plan would raise wages by as much as $10,000 for Head Start teachers. It would be done over the next seven years. Cincinnati Head Start teachers are making between $21 to $24 an hour. Renee Daniel says that's a lot less than public school teachers with similar credentials. And the work, she says, is not easy. We're a large program. We serve um, almost 2,000 children, 1,998. Um, so some of the things that they're proposing, I am so excited about. I was just really, really excited about it. I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good for children. I think it'll be good for families. While the proposed plan, Daniel says, would be a step in the right direction, additional funding, she says, would be required for the program to meet those salary demands. The Associated Press reports President Biden asked Congress for an additional $1 billion for Head Start this year. And I don't know if we're going to get any new funding, and if we don't get any new funding, we'll have to reduce the number of children that we serve in order to um, make up the difference of the things that they're requiring in this new rule. And we do have a link to this proposed rule on our website right now. If you'd like to read more about that, you can just go to fox19now.com.